My content strategy is an organized chaos. That's not really efficient at all. I've been trying my best to streamline the process and make it more efficient and more flowy. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly the way I use my social media planner that's been working really well and take you a little bit behind the scenes of my planner Instagram. I feel like I've just been all over the place with my content creation before. I would take pictures last minute and it would cause me so much stress. Actually, more stress than joy, which is not ideal. I got a dashboard planner for my social media now and I found a system that works quite well for all I need to do for the week. I'm not earning any money from this at all but I feel like it's definitely like a second job sometimes. I try and decorate my spreads in advance just so I can actually use them when the time comes as let me let you in on a little secret, I wouldn't always use my decorated spreads. <gasps> With being on Instagram, I always feel like I have to take a picture first and then if I don't in time, the whole sister crumbles. <laughs> I bought a daylight light now, which makes it a million times easier, but before I'd had to wait for the daylight that would never come. <laughs> For this particular spread, I used the Live Love Bars Chick Fall sticker book, which is just about to come back in stock. On the left side, I write down all my tasks for the week, which is the same things like take and edit pictures and reels for Instagram, film and edit the YouTube video, and work on my sticker shop. Then, I like to write out video ideas for the future couple of videos, just so I know and not panic about what my next video is going to be about. And in this section below, I'd like to write out the sticker sheets I'm working on as well, just so I can tick them off. I aim to work on one collection per week but it's all really new to me so any work I do on the sticker shop is fine. Once I got these tasks down, I'm thinking of what's the best time to get them done during the week. Seeing them all really helps me focus. I used to use this VQ bit for my exact content I publish, but now I thought it'd be fun to track stats so I just separate them into two, one for YouTube and one for Instagram, and I just write down the metrics every day. Part of it is covered with the sticker, but I'm not too fussed about it. I think it makes sense to take photos and reels on Sunday, as that's when I have my spreads finished and decorated for the week, so I can just take photos of all of them together. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. A little mess here. These are some of my lights. These over there are all my backdrops. Just taking a regular white sheet of paper. Taking my current happy platter. I like the color of the disc, so I'm keeping this one. And then I'm just about opening in the middle. This is the first spread that I need to take pictures of. This one is made by this sticker book, so that's part of my prompts. This here, and then this here, from my scrapbook paper. I think maybe this one will go well and maybe even this one let's see i'll stick them here and that's it my flat lay with the reels it's a bit trickier as i don't always have a clear vision of what they're going to be so i could quickly film one as they come out during the week as well but this is generally for something like a before the pen decorating ones I could then edit the pictures on Monday at work as I could just use my phone in between patients or on my lunch. For my YouTube intros and thumbnails, I'd like to film them on Saturday mornings as that's the time there's less cars around, so less noise, and I have washed my hair. <laughs> For my video editing, I thought I'd make an effort and go to a new coffee shop in town when possible so I can envision that this is my new perfect life when I'm traveling and working on my projects in a cute local coffee shop. It's all about putting that into the universe. I'd like to create my new spreads on Friday as that's the day I'm most tired after work and it's kind of a pleasure task really. I sprinkle all the other tasks around the week just as I see fit. It varies so I try to switch them up and find a perfect day to go and do them. I find that if you do the task on work day, somehow I get them done quicker than during the weekend. I guess having less time does the trick to help me concentrate on the task at hand and actually get to it. Do you guys have an active social media account? Tell me all your tips and tricks please thank you so much for watching and if you like this video you might also want to check this one out that's all about my planner lineup social media planner is only one of nine thanks again and i shall see you in my next craft session